Hi there, it's Sam from peoples.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. What do you think of the project? Oh, okay, that looks a bit weird, but that's the top of the box. It is actually shaped like that. Can you see that? Okay, there you go. If I turn it sideways, you could probably see it better. I could fit it on my screen. But yeah, it's, it's a rather nice box, bag, I don't know what you'd call it. And it has this lovely opening to the top. Now, I have called this Suzette's Painted Bloom Bag, and that's because I was at a crafting event recently and um, one of my demo sisters was there with me. And there were loads of us there, but she was on my table and we were chatting away and I, I had some downtime and I knocked up, well, 11 boxes and bags. But I designed the prototypes of them just with some scrap cardstock. And as I was doing this, my original plan had been so that it folded all the way down. Um, and I left, I, as I was folding it together, and I, oh, I kind of like it like that. And she piped up, oh, yeah, that would be lovely. And I said, oh, how do I close it, though? I don't know. And she said, you have to put ribbon around it. And she was very determined that I was going to put ribbon around it. And she asked me, well, she said that organza, the white organza ribbon, is her favourite. And do you know what, Suzette? I spent about 15 minutes tying this bow. So the one I'm going to build now, it ain't got this ribbon on it. Yeah, no chance. But I said to her that because it was her idea to close it in such a fashion and leave it like that, it would forever after be named as Suzette's box. So that's just totally her idea to be ribbon it round. But I love it. So I'm going to show you how to make it. So this one was the painted blooms. Um, this is the one sheet of paper that you just would frame it. I'm going to do a slightly different version because I want to show you where to put your score lines. Okay, so you need a full sheet of 12 by 12, the whole thing. And whichever direction you want your pattern to go is where you start it. So start with the flowers going up, like that. Grab your Simply Scored scoring tool and you score it at one and three quarter inches, five and three quarter inches, seven and a half, and eleven and a half inches and in metric that's four and a half, uh, 14 and a half, 19 and a half and 29 centimetres. And then you turn it to the right so that we're going to put our bottom in there. That's where the bottom of the box is going to be. So you score it at one and three quarters of an inch and then up at the top at nine and a half inches. And that is four and a half and 24 centimetres. And I forgot to give you the finished dimension. It's one and three quarters. Hang on, it would be help if I grabbed it. It's so one and three quarters of an inch that way, which is four and a half centimetres. It is four inches that way, which is ten centimetres, and eight inches up to that point there. Eight inches from there to there, which is twenty centimetres. So that's the, that's the sizing of it. Okay, so, oh look, I've got striker paper, that'll be easier to see. So I'm going to gently fold my score lines, and give them a good old brush. Whoops. Working on a pattern paper like this is not the easiest because I can't actually see my own score lines. There it is. That's the last one. I didn't score hard enough. Well, I did score plenty hard enough. I just can't get hold of it. There we go. And then burnish there. And then the same on the other ones. Concentrating hard today. Okay, so if I turn it back round again, we know this is the top and this is the bottom, and you will find that there is a skinny section on the in the bottom right hand corner. So cut that one away. And then feel if you can't see, as I can't see, feel for the others and cut up all three of those. run some adhesive down this part so snail sticky strip double-sided tape you could actually get away with oops I can't see at all what I'm doing oh the light is terrible that was really wibbly yeah I got a little bit of adhesive excess wibblage um, but yeah you could use uh, snail because that was actually all I had with me the other weekend and it stayed quite happily it's not tried to pop open okay so that's the back of the box so fold in the two sides and the back and then this is going to be the front 
oh this snare uh, fuse is giving me trouble today let's fold that round and when you push in at this point so where your score line is push in there and it will instinctively go like that so i haven't moved my hands at all it's so tall it's practical well, it's about three inches from the camera lens but you will it will instinctively go like that so don't try and push the top anymore so don't squish that shut use your fingers just to assist down the sides if that's the look you're going for it's up to you then we're going to show this box who's boss we're going to hold it down i've got a couple of pegs to pinch this shut and i'm going above the score line so just they they are just to hold it in place okay right so where's the front that's that's the back this time i have got the whisper white satin uh, uh seam binding ribbon because this stuff you know kind of likes me and because of this paper you can really push down quite hard and it's not going to object to it it's like i say we're, we're letting this bag know who's in charge i think the ribbon might be in charge i don't think i'm in charge of that at all um, yeah had the organza played i'd have done that again but sorry suzette it doesn't like me sideways bow you know great talking point and that is it i didn't want to decorate it any more than that i felt that was lovely as it was cute huh so we've got a pretty inside on show too i love it oh, thank you suzette for the ribbon idea anyway hope to speak to you very very soon bye